Sweet incense perfumes the air. Chants weave through the gurgle of the river and rustle of the forests as they were in ancient times. The sounds of flutes and gongs and thump of wood and feet reverberate through the house. People gather together in the music of merriment and silences of solemnity in a certain time and place involving immediate family, the whole village and other communities. In this time, both meditative and dramatic, the beliefs, aspirations, and honor traditions of a people, heaven and earth, body and spirit are embodied and unified in a spectacular system of rituals. The Subanan is an indigenous people in southern Philippines whose traditional homeland is the Zamboanga Peninsula of western Mindanao. The Subanan, whose name means people of the river, are traditionally Swidden farmers, animistic with a rich culture. Seen through their traditional crafts such as vernacular architecture, basketry, embroidery, mat weaving, and art forms such as music, dance, and oral literature. Some elements of Subanan traditional culture and way of life have changed or been lost over the course of time. But some have endured, including the Buklug. The Buklug is an ancient practice with mythical origins mentioned in Subanan epics. The most important of Subanan rituals and celebrations, it is known for its magnitude and complexity. The Buklug can last for several days, weeks, and even months, involving everybody in the community from preparation to culmination and engaging other communities. The most distinctive feature of the Buklug is a tall structure with a highly flexible platform for the gibot or community dance. Aside from being a sacred area, it also acts as a large musical instrument. As participants dance, the Buklug structure makes a distinctive percussive sound, drawing more people. The Buklug has several types, marking the stages and corresponding to different aspects of life in Sabanan society. The Buklug Gauz, for example, is a thanksgiving act for a good harvest, while the Buklug Menonot honors a new Timwai or village leader. The Buklog Samaya thanks the gods or spirits for recovery from illness, and the Buklog Palanto honors the souls of the dead. A ritual specialist called Balyan officiates the Buklog and its series of attendant rituals with help of the Timwai. Among other things, the preparatory rituals ensure harmony among members of a family or clan and the community as well as between the human world and the spirit world. Harmony is requisite to the success of the Buklog. In the Daga, the Balyan anoints participants on the palms with chicken blood while chanting a prayer. This binds community members in a spirit of unity. In the Sinulampong, the Balyan asks permission from the spirits to cut timber for the construction of the Buklog structure and signifies the community's readiness for the ritual. In the Sangat, community members offer pairs of coins to two strong spirits in order to maintain the balance in the spirit world. During the Panmalwasan, which is done in the dark, the spirits of the departed are invited to partake in the festivity with offerings of food. The gathering of materials for the building of the Buklug structure is itself a ritual called 
Kanu Gulangan. During the cutting of trees, Giloy is chanted, especially for the important components of the buklog structure, the dulugan and the pitao. The rituals gampang and gilit are for the spirits. One is done at the nearest river for the water-dwelling spirits, the other facing the mountains for the land spirits. Then the buklog structure can be built. A highlight of the construction is the placing of the dulugan and the pitao, done in a ceremony. The dulugan, a hollowed out log, is placed under the buklug structure in a trench at the center of the ground, while the pitao floats above it, piercing through the platform at the center of the structure. While people dance, the fitao and the dulugan hit each other like mortar and pestle, making a booming sound. The buklug structure is connected to the house by a stair bridge called titai, through which participants enter, creating a representation of man's journey from the mundane to the sacred. The series of buklug rituals culminates in the gibbot, a dance by the community and visitors on the bouncy platform. Their movements resonate throughout the buklog, producing a booming sound. The gibbot can go on all day and all night long for several days. It is a moment of joy, excitement and togetherness, a sense of play as a ritual. As the Sabana society changes over time, the holding of the buklog becomes rarer. The influence of other cultures has increased and the economic conditions of the society have also been altered, threatening most elements of Subanan culture, especially the buklog ritual. The present political and religious systems have also negatively interfered with the transmission of values, knowledge and skills of the Balyan to the future Balyan but it still survives to this day, and its perseverance may owe to the fact of its extensive and multifarious significance. Other than the religious, it embodies the social, cultural, political and creative values and expressions of the Subanan people. In the most recent Buklog, called Buklog Tindig, Several municipalities all over the Zamboanga Peninsula have pledged to preserve this important aspect of Subanan culture and identity. Many of the attendees brought along their children in the hopes of passing down the experience, knowledge, and the values of the Buklog ritual. The Buklog Tindig, meaning Buklog of Resurgence, is an example of how an ancient ritual remains relevant in modern times. The buklog is unique and its significance and symbol is universal. With its emphasis on harmony in the family, community, and the human and spirit worlds, the buklog remains to be a unifier of people. <laughs>